Hey, what's up? Sorry, guys. I know I haven't been recording lately. As you can hear, kind of have a cold, but I'm trying to get back out there. Um, this is a new type of series I'm trying to do right now. This is going to be the morning show. And I know I've been dropping a lot of conspiracy theories at night and stuff like that. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying those, even though those ones are more theatric. But um, long story short, like I'm here, I'm trying to record, trying to give you guys some good content. Hopefully, um, if you guys are enjoying it, you can like it and share it with someone. Also, you know, turn on the notification bell and uh, comment if you can. If not, I just hope that you guys just enjoy what I'm putting out. Also, we got like a 1960s effect on it, so I said let's just get into it. Got a cold, so might be coughing and stuff like that. Might be sneezing a little bit. I might have to get up and get a drink, but I do have some gin right here, and I got me a bowl pack. So hopefully that's enough medicine I need to like get me through it. Like you know what I'm saying. Um, so this video in particular, I just wanted to make it about, uh, friends. And, um, I definitely have some really good friends out there. And I do also consider that people who are viewing this as, like, you know, part of that friend group. Even though, um, it might not be, like, super close in proximity. But I do feel like as far as like you know what love goes i do feel like we all have a connection and we have a, a lot of love for each other so that's the thing that i choose to speak on instead of like all the other stuff so you know and i think this video what we're going to expound upon more is just like why is it just so hard to make friends you know and a lot of it's just a fear of rejection you know always worrying about just being turned down and not accepted for like who you really are that prevents you from trying to reach out to people and that's usually the things that happen early on in life and we just keep going down this like you know road and we just feel like you know we are ourselves and not and not the people that we're supposed to be in the system we feel like you know we're not going to get far you know and you just have to understand just be yourself for real for real because um, me just being myself I found pretty I, I found a lot of great friends even though sometimes uh it's embarrassing and sometimes it's you know it's not um what i mean by embarrassing is just like you know you just show all your quirks you know what i'm saying and uh, don't be shy about it because some like people just find it like really hard to just initiate the conversations like due to like that social social anxiety just being like an introvert and um, I feel like we all are introverts and extroverts at the same time. We just like choose a certain time to actually show these things. And um, I feel like, you know, just tapping in. Like that's why I always try to make it like my thing just to go out there and actually talk to people. And um, just, just so I can like lighten the mood, you know. And I'm usually okay with people like, you know, with social anxiety. I still try to get them to talk. I just make them included because everyone's, everyone wants to feel included. Cause some people just have like a lack of confidence it's like they have like a very like low sense of like self-worth like self-esteem and like it can just make it hard for them to like believe others are like would actually want to connect with them like you know what i'm saying so usually people always told me i had like a knack for like talking to people like making friends and i know this video seems like stupid but i mean for what it's worth i just hope it's giving me like some positive energy and and stuff like that like i don't this is just like gonna be one of like many videos so just for the, like the new people who are actually listening it's like i hope that you guys get the vibe and stuff like that um but yeah like not only like a lack of confidence if like you know you want to switch it to like you know growing up and stuff and having like families and stuff it's like you know a lot of people just have like a busy schedule it's like you have work family and then like other responsibilities and just like leaves like a little time for socializing and that's the thing i think that people don't like understand is that um as much as like you know we try to like keep our friends there it's just like sometimes it's kind of hard it's just like cause, like i said you have all these other responsibilities out there and um then also you have different backgrounds like me i have a very di uh, diverse group of friends like from uh, many just different places um 
and like that might cause like a little uh difference in like you know we don't like to do the same things all the time like you know what i'm saying so it might be a little like weird putting myself out there and then like when you think about like i said the schedule and like everything else like as well it's just like you know the different backgrounds and you know all the other stuff it just it can like form like a connection that's that's a little challenging but you just gotta like get through it and then you have uh like you have like the trust issues when it comes to friends because i'm i'm someone who's like based off of my past sometimes i just be like what's the point of having a friend if i know i'm always gonna move like you know what i mean i'm always gonna be changing this stuff but then it's like it started to like bleed into like the other aspects of my life where it's just like why what's the point of even trying to make a friend or like be there for someone if they're just gonna like leave anyway but then i just had to like switch like nah life is about like actually like trying to trying trying to make those connections instead of you writing people off like well they're gonna die anyway like you know what i mean because like them past experience especially like when people have been betrayed betrayed or like hurt it just makes it difficult for some people to open up i know it's hard for me to open up sometimes but like you know i still try to like i still try to because like i mean when i was younger i used to have social anxiety from it it's just like not really like that i just didn't like want to talk i just stayed secluded to myself and like people could see that something was wrong with me but it's not like um it's not like I had a problem with talking to people. I just really did not want to because I'm like, what's the point of like talking, talking when you're just gonna get hurt? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it just felt like very uncomfortable. Like not not really anxious, but some people can feel anxious. Like, you know what I mean? It made me feel uncomfortable in like those social situations. And it's just like, which I just like chose to just like, I chose avoidance like social settings like all together like i just wanted to be trapped like with myself and that's what also inspired in like like drugs alcohol like all that other stuff here let me turn on the mic yeah that also led to like drugs alcohol like all types of other things like you know what i'm saying like to like where i'm here like where i'm at now and it's just like you know um and like you know your your, your interests just change over time you know that's that's really a, your interest change over time like and some people just aren't going to be the same like like you know everyone changes like like just over time like your personal interests and hobbies just evolve into different things and you might just find yourself just more distant than you usually were to like those old friends and find like making new ones is like harder or like you know you feel like you're kind of replacing people and it's just like you know i don't think I don't think, you know, anyone's actually really looking at it, like, from the outside, like, that deep, but, like, that's kind of, like, what's happening, like, uh, like, with the undertones, it's just, like, you know, you're just changing, and, like, you fail to realize that change, and, uh, until, like, it might be, like, too late, and that you don't really think about it, you know, and then you got the digital overload, just relying on social media just to keep up with, like, those interactions that you once had to replace the face-to-face -face connections, it's, like, it just makes it harder just to form them deeper friendships like how you used to like when you used to just go outside like you know you used to skate every day go to the park listen to music together barbecue this person come over to your house you go over to their house you spend a night they spend a night like you know what i mean you guys used to crash and everything people change like people's families like you know change and stuff like that and then as you grow up it's like everyone's like moving to new places relocating for like better opportunities and it's just like it often just means starting over socially and it's like it takes time to build new relationships when these relationships were just kind of given to us and we just had to appreciate them like you know and um like i said people might think that this is like really dumb to talk about and it might be but it's just like i really do feel like friends is something that's like you know really important here hold up um my mother just give me a little shot real quick i gotta, I gotta get that energy drink out the fridge Hold up, hold up, hold up. Please don't kick off. Like, don't click off. Here, let me check my energy drink real quick. Alright, right, I'm back, I'm back. I just put it in the fridge. Yeah, so last thing I was saying is like, you know, just moving to new places. It's like, it just makes it hard to like build that relationship and stuff like that. So it's like, 
and kind of like the first thing I was saying, it's just like, you know, that fear thing. It's like fear of just being vulnerable, like friendships, like when you really, when you get older and stuff like that, you understand that all relationships were just built off of you being vulnerable. And that's why I said, like, I had to let, like, like, let that, like, mindset go, like, yeah, people aren't going to be here forever. It's like, okay, cool. It's like, I know that, but it's just like, I need to leave myself vulnerable because I, that's what's going to make the connection better. Like, you know what I mean? It's like nothing, it's like the pain, I guess, that people would associate it with by leaving themselves open. It's just fear. It's just, it's just fear. Like, everything everything has its ups and downs but it's just like just we just can't let ourselves just be controlled by the fear of that of something bad happening and, and you know it just makes a person anxious like very uncomfortable because um, you just have like a lot of i guess introverted people like some people just prefer solitude i know i prefer solitude or uh, like a small intimate circle instead of making a large social group because i just like the ones that i like and um i don't try to get I don't try to push myself off that path. Like, I know a lot of people probably try to push themselves off that path, but nah, it's just because I just know that, like, you know, the friends that I do have, I just want to keep them. I'm just trying to grow them, make them stronger, and become a better friend because I learn a lot through myself just by having friends. Like, you know, like I said before, like, you know, people just go through different stages of life. Like, people are at different points in life at very different times and just find it like harder to like relate to each other like as time goes on like you know some people are getting married some people stay single like the other parents and the non-parents like you know it's just a lot of stuff that's just going on I remember that happened to like my best friend Sherm was just very young just having a kid it's just like you know you just can't chill with your boy the, the same way how you used to and like that's just something that like you know you just have to grow to understand like you know and um, you just have like a competitive like environment like you know that you that you garner at work and they're trying to focus on that and sometimes you just like push your like social circle to like the wayside like because like the workplace just sometimes is just pushing you to like make friends there and you know you could just be dropped any time at this job you know what i'm saying yeah i never actually took that shot let me get that real quick I'm sorry if this video is like longer than usual. I'm trying to go down to just making like maybe like two videos a day, one on the dark shit and like one on the light shit. Yeah. Ooh. And like I said before, people can't forget that everyone is just going through something. Everyone has like, you know, them past traumas, like emotional or like physical traumas. And I've just, that just makes you want to be isolated and that's what makes people like distrust everyone around them and um not only that it's like when, you, when it comes down to building relationships when you have them past traumas and then you add miscommunication like day in and day out onto that it's like that person might find it difficult just expressing themselves or just being understood based off the social cues i guess and and it can just cause them to just feel like, you know, like a person's not really connected with them. It's preventing the connection, to like misunderstanding. And that's just the insecurities, like the fear of like others, like judging you harshly. And um, just not knowing if a person's really your friend, but it's like at some point in time, you just have to say like, yo, whatever I'm thinking about is so destructive that I have to start believing that people are actually trying to like help me, actually trying to be my friend. And that's what a person that's what a person has to go through so they can like like so they so they have someone to reach out to and it's just like you know it, it, sometimes you have to make a new friend you know because the social norms like the social culture like they're trying to teach you but it's like only you could like resonate with the people that you resonate with like on that like type of level and those are going to be the people that's around you like it starts with your family and your community like you know and then that's who your friends are they could be friends they could be your neighbor you know that's who we find friends you got your favorite cousins got your favorite aunts those are your friends and stuff you got your like you know your neighbors and the people you went to school with that live in a neighborhood and stuff that you see on a daily basis of the person at walmart who helps you um with the door like you know what i mean make sure you got back you know the person that's looking out for you like you know 
because people just think that friends are just so loosely or they just think that friends are just they're they're just like you know something that just comes like you know natural something that you're just supposed to have and that's not the case because like a lot of people just expect friends to meet unrealistic expectations and standards and that leads to disappointment and that makes a person want to be isolated because it's like they just so wrapped up in just one way of looking at it and you know what i'm saying like when you're losing friends at the same time it's just like you know, because you're living far away or like, you know what I mean? The potential friends that you uh, could have trying to regulate them so much that like, you know, you're just missing out on the meaningful interactions. So I know this is like a long video. It's like almost 16 minutes. Oh yeah, like, comment, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Um, I really want you guys to comment on here. Like I said, like I know it's like sounds crazy, but um, yeah, I just, I think that it was something cool to talk about, you know, like, why is it so hard to make friends, and I think, uh, pretty much broke that down, and I know I don't make the most, like, um, like, intriguing type of visual videos and stuff like that, but everyone who is subscribed to me, I really do appreciate it, because I think we've just been growing together, and I'm happy that, like, I have you guys to just listen to me. So, metal light being like gang, like gang. Peace. Hopefully, I get over this cold soon too.